that question 23 requires us to complete the table and then complete the diagram. So what we look at to start with is um, part of the table that shows us um, an interval with a frequency and then um, have a look at the frequency density that it lines up with. So we've got a frequency of 35 between 30 and 40. So the uh, frequency divided by the interval width will give us the frequency density. So our frequency is 35, so we divide by, um, so we've got 35 divided by 10, so that gives us 3.5 here. And that enables us to see the frequency densities for the other parts um, of the graph, and we can also see that we're going up in sort of units of 0.1s. So uh, I might not have lined that up quite there, let's just get that bit right. Um, go back to my pen. So, yeah, so that would be three, um, and just slightly low there. Let's do that again. That would be two, and this would be one. So I appear to have done quite a bit of work um, without recording myself, so I'll go through this um, once more. So we've done the um, missing frequencies, so now I'll show you how I drew the rest of the graph in. So for the 40 to 60, we know that um, we have a 60, uh, sorry, we've done the 40 to 60, the 60 to 80, we have a width of 20 uh, times a frequency density, so, uh, so 30 divided by 20 gives me a frequency density of 1.5, so 30 divided by 20 gives me the, the 1.5, so I line this up here, 1.5, and then the 20 divided by 40, you can see I've done the calculation up here, 20 divided by 40 gives me 0.5, enabling me to complete the graph.